First of all, just, you know, I'm just thankful. Um, we rebounded from a tough loss last week. Everybody was questioning, you know, how we go get the guys ready to go and so forth. And, you know, we had a pretty good week of practice in the show tonight. Uh, but uh, community guys, man, uh, these guys are they're great. The staff is great. And the kids just come to work. You know, we have our problems just like everybody else. But, you know, we're happy to, to be where we are. You know, we... We played a pretty sound football game, but the only thing that's probably disheartening are the penalties. We made a few penalties out there, but it didn't any of them cost us. But I was happy with Coach Joseph, uh, Dre Joseph's performance and happy with the way the running backs ran the ball. And we were close to getting our first 100-yard rush. I don't know if we did or not, but and our defense was just solid. You know, we didn't make any uh, uh, mishaps on uh, special teams. So just an overall team effort and, you know, just a great win. You like to win homecoming. I'm just uh, pleased with those guys and just happy for them. Coach, before, even before the game got sort of out of hand, you were using a lot of guys that uh, fans and media haven't seen on the field all season. Is that part of the plan or were you just trying to find bodies that would work? Well, on defense, you know, we had injuries. You know, we had we a lot of guys out in our secondary that we hope to get back. Um, so on defense, we always play a lot of guys. Uh, offense, so uh, we just uh, I told them they gotta you gotta use more guys, you know, and uh, try to hold guys accountable for their mistakes. And if the guy in front of you ain't getting it done, let's try getting the guy behind you. So it led to us uh, playing a, a few more players. Was a prime example of that when Allen missed that reception, and then you put in Waddell, and then he makes the makes a big grab. That's a great example, and uh, uh, I don't think Waddell get that opportunity uh, in the past. You know, I, I told him, I said, hey, we don't know what these guys can do in the game. We don't know, put them in the game and find out. And I told the players, uh, I don't know if you're going to get an opportunity, but be ready. So now that we know that he was ready when he got his opportunity, and that makes uh, coaches want to call his name a little bit more. So I was happy for him, and it was great to see him get a, get a touchdown. Is it the same philosophy with the offensive line? Because I know they were kind of shuffling in and out a lot, especially in the second quarter. Same thing as if somebody made a mistake, you pulled them out, or were you giving guys a breather? Well, uh, really, uh, most of, for the most part on the offensive line is probably getting a breather, you know. And then it's hard to coach a guy when he's on the field making mistakes. So if you take a guy out for a player or two, bring him to the sideline, get him coached up, you get him back in the game. So, you know, once again, you know, we're going to go into a stretch where we're going to play nine games in, in a row. So we, we better play some guys and try to try to get through this thing without getting somebody seriously injured. Got a chance to get JP in there tonight a little bit. What did you see out of him and let go of pretty much how you wanted to? Yes, it did. You know, and, and what we try to tell a lot, uh, second team guys is that, you know, prepare yourself if, if you go be a starter because you never know when your name's going to be called. And, you know, this, this team is, a, is doing pretty good with that and just getting you guys to understand that we may dial it up any time, so just be ready when we dial your name. Can you talk about getting him in early? It was the second quarter. I think you all up 13 nothing, and you threw him in. Yeah, we just, I mean, it's a time in the game where, where you feel like, you know, it's okay to put your second quarterback in and just to get him into a rhythm and then give your, give your starting quarterback a chance to sit back and, and really focus on, on on the game and see it from the sidelines because sometimes I think we try to put too much on them guys and say they got to get it fixed, they got to get it fixed, but when you put them on the sideline and get a chance to see what the defense is doing, then when they go back in there, you see the success that they had. How impressed are you about the defense? Well, you know, we still got a lot of work to do. You know, I mean, we've been close. Uh, you know, I was hoping they would have got the shutout for them. But, you know, we had a lot of guys in there in the end because I think everybody deserves to play in the game like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited for them because they're finally taking ownership of something. And, and, you know, I just told them that, you know, I'm happy for you guys because you're having the kind of success and what difference are you making. What did Clayton do um, to earn the starting running back job? I know you used a lot of guys back there, but what made you start him and what did you see out of him? Speed. Uh, you know, he's a track guy and uh, has tremendous speed and, you know, uh, not a big bat, but he gives us a chance to, to uh, hit the home run, and you saw that tonight. You know? uh, I take my hat off to Darius Coleman. Uh, you know, we got some injuries at running back. Uh, Joseph is still a little gimpy. Uh, Sylvester didn't even dress out. So, you know, we're down to <laughs> – we're real thin at running back. So we know he has the, uh, the big play potential, and it was good to see him make that for us. What does this do for your team as far as momentum? And then how do you manage their mindset coming off this week before next week against Pine Bluff? Well, you know, homecoming was uh, easy to get up for. I think Pine Bluff would be easy to get up for because we know first place in the West is on the line. Uh, you know, and that's you want to be in the hunt this time of year. 
You know, you play in October so they can remember you in December. So we know we're trying to do everything we can to continue this momentum. We done, we done had this kind of momentum before, and then we, we didn't play very well. But it's good to have it at home. And uh, we believe that we're going to have, uh, uh, if not a better crowd than we had in the stands tonight because we're going to need all the support from the Jags uh, to take over first place. Taking the team out to Lafayette last night, can you just talk about, you know, what led you to that decision? And, you know, the players said they felt like it really paid off getting away from any distractions. Well, you know, we've been taking them off uh, since I uh, become, became the head coach. We've been taking them off the road for home games. You know, just really, you know, we, we sleep in – I live in the dorm too. You know, we sleep on those dorm beds for five days, man. There ain't nothing like a good night's rest. I, I might look forward to going to the hotel more than they do. But it's just to get them away, get them isolated, and we can have our meetings and, and really just jail together and have our walkthrough and, you know, and cut down on the distractions, you know, uh, being here. On a Friday night with homecoming, I could imagine they would have never got no sleep in the dorm. But I just feel like Friday nights is an is a important night for the team to be isolated and, and do the necessary things that it takes to, to come out and compete on Saturday. What was the atmosphere like? It seemed like the crowd was really into it. Well, you know, it's homecoming. You know, they, they was making a lot of noise. They were, they were behind their jags. And, and, you know, we're happy to perform the way we did. And we're happy that everybody's going to get to finish this night um, and celebrate with the win on the football field. Any more questions for Coach Owens? All right. Thanks, Coach.